question. I also have a debilitating fear of lightning. Whenever it's stormy out, I kind of get I get a little stressed. <laughs> Which is the weirdest thing, right? Because I actually never used to be scared as a kid. Here's the, let me explain. Let me explain. You guys might see on occasion like certain random statistics that they'll they'll throw out like, oh, did you guys know the the likelihood of a shark attack is you're like you know 50 times more likely to get struck by lightning than to be bit by a shark or whatever, because people use lightning as a metric for how unlikely stuff is. What they expect when they tell you those statistics is for you to be like, oh, so it's totally unlikely I'll never get bit by a shark. But what actually happened in my brain was, oh, so getting hit by lightning is it's way more likely than all these other scenarios. They tell you, oh, you won't win the lotto. You're better off like trying to get struck by lightning twice in the same spot. I'm like, well, shit, that just means I'm gonna get struck by lightning twice. Do you know there are two kinds of lightning? There are? Negative and positive? Oh, oh, okay, that makes sense. The kinds of lightning I know about are, they can come from cloud to ground or ground to cloud or cloud to cloud. And that just makes me even more terrified. The, the thought of lightning coming from the ground and zapping you f upwards through your freaking Gooch, that's terrifying to me. Like, like, look at what Mario is going through right now. That does not look like a good time. I don't want lightning to go up there. That's not supposed to happen. Just last year, I was running through a storm with my friends and we were so scared. And I was like, did you know lightning can come upwards from the ground? And then it just made it worse. So theoretically, you could actually get zapped from lightning from underneath you. Please no gooch lightning, please. 